Hey, what's poppin' Team Tommy? Yo, today I got the top two fastest ways to get your money in GTA 5. Now, this method is for people that are trying to get the submarine. Now, I have Twitch Prime. I thought I was gonna get the submarine for free, but that is not the case, bro. You only get the sonar station for free, bro. Which, I mean, that's saving you 1.2 mil. But, like, damn. Damn. So I had to grind for the other two mil. So once you get that two million and you buy that uh that submarine, you can start doing the Caraperio heist to get 1.8 mil per heist. So once you get two mil out of this method, you 10,000 percent want to get that uh, submarine. If if you only if you don't have Twitch Prime, you're gonna have to get three million. But no matter what, you want to get that submarine. You want to. You want to. You want to. But these are this this is the fastest way to get it. So what you want to do? Come over here, jobs. I guess this could te technically be a th top three. But I, me personally, bro, I don't like doing the advisory mode, and I don't like doing the races, bro. So if you guys like doing those, that's definitely that's definitely number three. But right here. I guess I guess with number two we can go we can go blow up. Now, the thing with blow up, you're just bro is you're not playing, so it's not gonna be as fun. You definitely want to go over here to hard, so you get that 1.5 times on the RP and cash, and then you just start the mission. But with this method, bro, you're not gonna be doing too much too much playing, bro. That's why I don't really like doing it. But the, it's bank, bro. You make bank. So I've already been grinding it out. So I'm going to start right next to it. If you don't have the flying bike, it might it's going to take you a tiny bit uh, longer to do the mission. But literally just come over here, bro. Blow these up. And as soon as you're done blowing them up, usually the, you have to lose the cops. But I guess I don't this time. I'll come over here, and when I'm over here, bro, I mean, I guess you can keep flying around or keep driving around, but you want to wait here for eight minutes. Now, if you feel like you'll get more money waiting 10 minutes, be my guest, bro, but I've done the math, bro, and eight minutes, bro, will get you the exact same amount, and going over 10 minutes it doesn't get you any more money than just waiting the 10 minutes. So pick, pick, pick your poison, bro. Go eight or 10 minutes, bro. All right, so now that it's been 10 minutes, just come down here and you wanna complete the mission. Great, well done. You are very resourceful. I like that, really. Yo, where my shades go, bro? Decent little paper, decent little paper. Now, I have seen some people get up to 60K, but Rockstar patches and unpatches this stuff all the time. So you can get anywhere from 30 to 60K with that method. Now, this next one is definitely for people that want to play it more. Honestly, the blow up is number one, because if you if you do the math, you'll get 20K more dollars. If you play blow up instead of this one, but if you actually like playing the game, this this one's definitely for you, bro. All right, so the next one we have, I'm gonna come over here to jobs, play job, Rockstar created, go back to missions, and you wanna go to repo, Sasquatch. Now, this one opens up at rank one, so if you're any level in the game, you can play this. You don't, it doesn't matter. And you don't have to have specific uh, cars or blow up any. You don't have to have specific uh, grenade launchers or nothing like that, my guys. So once you're at this screen, you go to hard, confirm, start the mission. Hey, let's meet up next oh, week. shit. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm not going to lie, because this mission is long, I'll cut through some of it so you guys don't have to be sitting here watching every single little piece of it. 
but there are certain parts of the mission that I want you guys to see, like because it may it'll make it go faster. So you'll drive or fly all the way over here, depending on what kind of car you have. Now I'm not gonna lie, this this method right here is for sure people with bikes, because once you get over here and steal the Sasquatch, you can just drive over all of the cars you have to blow up anyway with the Sasquatch. So right here. You're gonna have to take out two security guards. Now you wanna do it kind of fast because the other one is gonna start shooting. So I, I always go with this dude first. And then, and you wanna make sure you definitely get inside of this. If you don't get inside of the Sasquatch, then the mission won't officially start. So once you're inside of there, you can hop back out. Now, only if you have a bike, if you have the Sasquatch, bro, Stay in it and just drive over the cars and blow them up because that's all you have to do. Literally, as soon as you bro roll over one, bro, just blow up. But you want to hop back on your bike. Come over here. And blow that car up first. Now, one thing, you want to kind of make sure that the cars don't all the way see you because if they see you, they're going to try to drive away from you. And these cars are uh, high-end enough to where they're fast enough to get away. Blow this car up next. Okay, now that you're done blowing that car up, if you're in the Sasquatch, this, this doesn't matter. You, you don't have to call off the police. But now what you're going to do, you're going to call Lester. And after you're done calling Lester, you're gonna uh, have him remove the one to the one level. So now that they're gone, I can come over here, <coughs> and you're gonna have to kill two Hermanos. So spray this dude first because he has a gun, and then that dude only has a wrench, so you can shoot him from kind of far. And you're gonna run in here. And you're gonna grab the uh, jerry can. Now you have to press L1 to grab the jerry can. Once you grab the jerry can, pour the oil on this car and drag it out here. And you're gonna put oil on all of these cars. Now make sure you keep it running the whole time though, because if you just stop, bro, the the fire's not gonna just keep going, bro. And make sure you're getting kind of close because if you're not close enough to the cars, they won't blow up. Cool. Now, when you're done doing that, run back in here just so you do not forget. Run back in here and grab another can. That way you're back at 100. Now, over here, you want to stand right here. I like to use the marksman rifle. If you only have a pistol, you gotta use a pistol. But it just it helps me not shoot at the at the floor, bro. Because I'm not trying to waste my time. So we're gonna shoot right there. And then we're gonna shoot right here as well. Just so we can get it going fast. Cause I'm about if you I mean if you really feel like it, you can wait for the fire to go through the whole line and just shoot the end of it. Like if you're trying to like act like you're in Tom and Jerry, but like I'm not trying to waste my time. And also you cannot, you cannot, you cannot leave the area before these cars blow up bro bro how did i miss it bro look you guys saw me go over this one i told you guys bro. sometimes it doesn't do it but now you're gonna go over here and go to these cars now again if you're if you're driving in the sasquatch this does not matter to you because you can literally just drive over here already and just run them over all right, now when you get over here, you wanna pull out the jerry can and you wanna go from this car to this car to this car to that yellow one. Then, uh, bro, I might as well just take you guys to it. I, I didn't wanna do it because it does take a, a, a kind of decent amount of time. But I mean, I guess you guys can just skip over it. All right, so we're gonna hit that one and we're gonna come over here and now 
I've tried it other ways before, but this is this is just the way that I found to get the most out of my canister, my jerry can. All right, now when you're done, run back over here to the middle. And then you're going to start a couple fires. Shoot right there. Shoot right here. Bam. 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 And then shoot right here. Bam. And do not leave the area because if you leave the area, all the cars will not blow up. Yo, how did it miss that one? Well, I told you, bro. This thing be wilding sometimes. But now after you leave here, he's going to ask you to do it again. And no matter what, the cops eventually get on you. They're going to be on you. And you can't lose them. It's just like the other one. Unless you call Lester. But so you want to fly over here first. Now, if you're in a, um, if you're in the Sasquatch, it does, this does not pertain to you. You can drive over whichever car you feel like driving over first. This is just the fastest for people flying on the bike. Hit that one and come across. Get this one in the middle. And now, because you didn't blow up the cars in the beginning with this uh, with your bike, now you can just use all of these rockets on uh, these cars because the bike only has so many rockets. And when you get if you use if you use them on all of the uh, all of the cars before this, then you won't be able to use them uh, here. But now that they're gone, the cop you're able to just lose the cops. Honestly, I, I you don't even have to do all of this. By by the time you make it over to uh, the Sasquatch, the cops will just be gone if you're on a flying bike. To be honest. Yeah, so when you get back to the Sasquatch, enter. Now you want to be careful driving the Sasquatch, bro. Oh, I thought I was gonna land. You want to be careful just because if you blow up one of these cars on the road, the police are gonna get back onto you, bro. And then you're gonna have to lose them again or call Lester. And if you have to keep calling Lester, you have to keep waiting like five minutes. And then if you uh, have to keep losing the cops, bro, like by yourself without calling Lester, that's just wasting time too. So don't do that. But all right, now once you make it over here and deliver it to the docks, the mission is complete. Now you can make, I haven't seen anybody make over 46K, but maybe, maybe you can make more than over 46K. Maybe not. I think you can only make 46K max because that's the only thing I made max. And there you have the top two fastest ways.
Now, please, 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 please. Once you are done doing this and you make up to 2 million, bro, please buy the submarine. You're going to want the bike. You're going to want a fancy car. You're going to want a whole bunch of stuff. But, bro, please get the submarine. Because once you get that submarine, bro, you can just do the heist and get 1.8 mil and then do that a couple times. You can buy whatever you want. Feel me? Minus a yacht. You're going to have to do that probably like four or five times. But that's only a few. You feel me? But hey, Team Tommy, love piece of chicken grease, man. Be safe.